You don't have to sell PLR content outright in order to make it profitable for you. Instead, you can create content that draws your target market in so you can get them on a mailing list. Let's look at a few ways for you to do this. Mailing list bait. What's the quickest way to build a big list? By offering something for free on your site in exchange for an email address and a first name. The most common yet still effective method is to offer a free ebook or report to your target market. It used to be that marketers would ask web visitors to submit their name and address for the free report, which was usually delivered in a link via email. Then the marketer would follow up with further promotional messages or perhaps even a newsletter of sorts. The problem with that technique is that people often didn't realize that submitting their name and email to get the book meant that they would also start getting a newsletter and pitches. Spam complaints went up. Some web surfers grew wise and started using throwaway email accounts, like Yahoo accounts, that they rarely checked. In other words, the response rates on these sorts of lists dropped, and spam complaints went up as people took measures to avoid unwanted email. If you want to build a responsive mailing list by offering a free report, the trick to growing this list is twofold. First, ensure that the free report is intimately related with your site, your newsletter, and any products you hope to sell in the future to this list. If you're just offering a semi-related report as bait to get new subscribers, they'll likely be unresponsive if you don't follow up with the same type of content. For example, let's suppose you had a site centered around growing prize roses, and let's suppose you had PLR content on starting a garden in general. You may have plenty of people sign up just for the sole purpose of getting the freebie, but then ignore your subsequent rose-related emails or perhaps unsubscribe because they weren't interested in roses. In other words, if you have a site on growing prize roses, then any PLR content you offer up as mailing list bait should also be around this same exact theme, not something semi-related. Second, people who sign up for your newsletter must understand first and foremost that they are signing up for a newsletter. The freebie you're offering is a bonus, but it's the newsletter that should interest them the most. If it's the freebie that primarily interests them, or if they don't even know requesting the free report means they are subscribed to a newsletter, then you can expect low response rates, if you're lucky, and possibly even spam complaints. The solution is to make the bait the newsletter itself. When you write your squeeze page or opt-in sales copy, focus on the benefits of receiving the newsletter, then offer the report as an added bonus. That way you'll have subscribers looking forward to your newsletter every week. Of course you can use your PLR content for some of the newsletter issues too. Autoresponder content. There are several ways that you can use PLR content in your autoresponder. First you can take a PLR book and break each chapter into a separate autoresponder message. If the chapters are long, you can further break them down into two or three separate messages. An alternative is to send a short message with a link to read the entire chapter online, or download it via a PDF file. Now here's a tip. The best type of PLR content for this purpose are the tips reports, like 7 steps to a flatter stomach or 27 money saving tips. If the PLR content you have isn't already in that form, you can rewrite it quickly to get it into that tips format. Some marketers offer complete books for free via autoresponder, however there's a catch. And the catch is that the marketer delivers the book via several emails, like once per week for 20 weeks. That's five months. This might satisfy somebody with a lot of patience, but many readers want instant gratification. So at the end of each free segment, the marketer offers the reader an instant download of the entire report. No more waiting for a breadcrumb week after week after week. The reader can have it all right now. Do people take marketers up on this offer? You bet they do especially if the content is engaging and interesting, so much that the reader can't wait until next week to grab the next installment. Or if the content deals with a particularly pressing problem, such as losing weight, the person may not want to wait weeks and months to get all the information. In other words, if the content is engaging and or the reader is desperate to solve her problem, you can probably sell the very content you're giving away for free. If you have PLR articles, naturally those two can be chopped up and loaded into your autoresponder. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that any content you load into an autoresponder should be evergreen. That means that if it's relevant today, it should be relevant a year from now, too. Now, whether you chop up and use articles or book content in your autoresponder, your goals are the same. To build a relationship with your subscribers by delivering good content. 
and to start making recommendations for paid products. These are the ones that you start selling in your newsletter, for example. Indeed, these two go hand in hand. People like to do business with people they know and trust. Your newsletter is one of the best tools to help build that trust. And once people feel comfortable with you, due to all the great content you've been delivering, they'll start buying from you too.